In today's video, we'll be taking a look back at Bear in the Big Blue House, looking at the show's history and where he is now. Before we start this video, comment below your favorite childhood show and feel free to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on other awesome puppet content just like this. Bear in the Big Blue House is a TV series that ran for four seasons from 1997 to 2003. The show was developed by Mitchell Craigman with the Jim Henson Company for the Disney Channel on Playhouse Disney. Bear in the Big Blue House aimed at teaching lessons to preschool and early school age children. At the beginning of each episode, Bear, who was a walk-around Big Bird type puppet, voiced and puppeteered by well-known puppeteer Noah McNeil. But a walk-around puppet or a full body puppet is what Bear is, it's what Big Bird is. Um, it's 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 a it's like the next step of being. It's not just a costume. It really is a puppet. But it's a puppet you wear from from head to toe. Welcome viewers to his house and tells them <gasps> it's you. After talking with one or more of his character friends, like Ojo, a bear cub, Tutter, a mouse, Trilo, a lemur, Pip and Pop, the two twin otters, or Shadow and other characters alike, Bear would then discuss or introduce the show's theme slash topic of the day. Afterward, the viewer would then follow Bear, interacting with other characters and creatures to solve, fix a problem that was going on with a character inside or outside the house. At the end of each program, Bear would head to the attic of the house and talk with his friend Luna, who's a moon puppet voiced by the late Lynn Thigpen. Bear and Luna would discuss the events of the day and finally end with the ever so popular goodbye song. And from there, closing out the episode. I hope you had fun. Bear in the Big Blue House won several Daytime Emmy Awards. The show also went on to win the Parents' Choice Good Award in both 2000 and 2002. Because of the show's success and Bear's popularity, Disney had wondered if the show would also be popular in the parks. Disney was wondering if the show would be popular in the park. Actually, I was wondering if the show would be popular in the park in terms of like a ride. I normally would go down for New Year's with my family. I said to Peter Van Roden, who was an executive at Henson at the time, and I said, you know, I'm going to be down for New Year's. You know, if you send down Bear and a Wrangler, let's see if it's popular. Let me do a little meet and greet. I came out and just like stood there and people suddenly like looked over and saw a bear and I waved and they ran over and I, you know, I would say hi to kids and I would take pictures. After that, um, B Corp is the uh, company that makes all those shows like, um, you know, Sesame Street Live. And so they were, want, they were wondering too if Bear would also be a, a popular attraction for an arena show. So first they did a mall show, a little mall tour. They made this big blue house and it was with Bear and like uh, the puppet characters it was such a hit that Disney just bought it and put it into the sound stage at the Disney MGM Studios and it became Bear in the Big Blue House Live. It was a huge success. After that, that's when Disney got the bright idea, hey, you know what? We've got a lot of other shows on, you know, Playhouse Disney. In fact, instead of like creating separate shows for them, why don't we try and like fit them into the Bear Show? And so that's what they did. In Disney's Hollywood Studios, which is located at Walt Disney World, a live stage show of Bear in the Big Blue House ran from 1999 to 2001. And over at Disney's California Adventure Park in California on April 11, 2003, Playhouse Disney Live on Stage premiered there. Reruns of Bear in the Big Blue House continued to air until May 6, 2007. In 2005, during the show's hiatus, the series was followed by a programming block titled Breakfast with Bear, featuring Bear visiting the homes of real-life children. Unfortunately, shortly after, Bear in the Big Blue House aired its last and final episode on April 28, 2006. After that, Bear and his friends were not seen on TV or any other place for a couple of years, until March 20th of 2020. In honor of Noel McNeil arriving on TikTok of that year, one of his first videos can be seen of Bear and himself greeting everyone. After this video, Noel McNeil would go on to make a ton of different videos with Bear and himself on the platform. These range from holiday greetings to different shout outs to fans and various duettable videos of throwback songs from the Bear and the Big Blue House show. Later, Noel would announce that Bear was officially on Cameo. You could pay to have Bear send you a special message, a birthday shout out, and or a holiday greeting. And that was built by James Roy Tall Jr. of, uh, of like puppet disaster. James is awesome because I, I uh, this was for Haley Jenkins and Paul McGinnis' wedding. Paul asked, like, would you and Peter and Tyler do a song from Bear in the Big Blue House? I asked James, because James built like 
the original bear head. James said, no, just give me the fur. I'll just do it. Just, just give it to me. <laughs> and he just really just like knocked this out in no time. As far as the whereabouts of the other characters from the original show, well, the only other character I could seem to find was Ojo, the little bear cub. I ended up stumbling across the Instagram post by Rick P83 where he showcases some repair work that he did as of 2019 on what seems to be one of the original Ojo puppets from the original show. I also tried contacting some other puppeteers and the original puppet builder that worked on the show, and unfortunately, I got no response. My guess is that the rest of the characters must be in a Disney warehouse somewhere. But no matter, like everyone else, I'm super excited and I cannot wait for the series to begin streaming on Disney Plus in the US on October 19, 2022. Hey. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my other puppet related video on the screen. I think you'll enjoy it and I'll see you over there.